Yo, yo, yo. I'm back. Yes! Yes! I've been asked to make an animation tutorial on LI Motion and I'm here to deliver. Apologies for any background noise you may hear. I am on vacation in Italy. But I wanted to get this out because I promised a few days and it's almost been a week and I've been kind of busy. I've seen my childhood friends, yeah, we got, food, we got ice cream, and I've been around neighboring cities to my own, visiting more relatives. So now that I found myself some free time to make this, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll either answer them or make a dedicated short. Today we're not doing much, we're doing a simple sitting animation. Everything is already parented and properly set, so if you don't know how to prepare a model like this one, I'll link my previous video down below and some shorts I made to help you get started. You can come back once you're ready. Let's start. First things first, we're going to import our model from the element projects. If you want to reuse the element for later for any other projects, tap convert to group so a duplicate of the original is made specifically for the project you're working on, otherwise the original will be edited instead. And if your animation is complex, it's going to be a pain to delete every keyframe from every layer and set everything back to its original position. We're going to be doing basic editing of the body, so basically everything but anything that's on the head like the face and hair. You guys can use a reference if you like. It's much easier than visualizing stuff because you might skip over some details that are actually present in the motion. There are three motions. There's a standing, leaning, and sitting motion. You need to add a rotation keyframe for each of these poses and add bookmarks for quicker access to your keyframes. If you tap on the time, a red line will stem from the timeline and tapping on these buttons next to the play button will enable quick access between the red lines. So first we'll do the motion where we lean over the chair, starting with the torso leaning forward. Then we'll bend the knees slightly. I then moved on to the last keyframe and rotated the leg a full 90 to do the sitting pose. You can also add position keyframes if the child parts go slightly out of place when they rotate. When I finished with the legs, I moved on to the arms. I didn't really know what to do for them, but I didn't want to leave them behind, so I put them on the knees for the leaning pose and then did a slight rotation to them for the final pose. I added a mouth to make her look less weird. The position of the feet in the final animation were sliding, so I adjusted that and I also adjusted the sitting position. I then added something for her to sit on. I hope you guys learned something. Satori was seriously overdue and I'm sorry for that. Take care of yourselves. Peace.